Hi, so today I want to show you how I made this concertina fold card, internal concertina fold card. Um, this one's quite bulky just because of the thickness of card that I used. But if you use a thinner card, then it's a lot better. So yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. This a card I made using the West Design Products um, Bluebirds and Roses papers. Um, and elements and today I'm going to use I'm going to use the Ducraft Paper Mania Safari on Safari papers and they're quite nice and um, they also come with decoupage toppers as well so I'm going to use some of those as well so you will need for this card a 6x4 card blank now I've made my own using blue card so obviously I did it 6 inches by 8 inches and then folded it in half to make a 6x4 card blank. And then you will also need a piece of card contrasting which is 10 inches by 5 and 3 quarter inches. Now this piece of card you're going to score at 2 inches, 3 inches, 4 inches. 5 inches, 6 inches, 7 inches and 8 inches. So basically every inch from 2 inches up to and including 8 inches. So that's what you want to score that one. Okay. You will also need some matte card. Um, we're going to deal with the we'll deal with the front of our card first, and then we'll do the inside bits. So for the front, you need a front mat, preferably the same colour to your internal card, um, and this needs to be five and three quarters by three and three quarters. And you're going to go ahead and stick that onto the front of your card. that's all stuck down. So then you need a pattern piece and your pattern piece is five and a half by three and a half and that is just going to go on the top there. So we're going to go ahead and stick that down. Okay so that's the outside mats and layers done on the outside of your card blank. So you also need to choose a topper to go on and if I were you, I would probably stick it on after you've done the inside. But just decide what you're going to do. I've chosen this, which is from the decoupage pack. It's a cute little elephant. I've decoupaged it up, as you can see. And so that will just go on the front there. And I'll have a greeting underneath. So I'm going to leave that for now, because I think it's probably best if we stick that on afterwards. So now what you need, you put this to one side. And you're going to bring on your piece of card that you've scored. Now these score lines, if you have a look inside this one, you started off with a, a valley and then just alternated all the way through till you get to the other score line. So that's what we're going to do with this one. So we start with the valley. your inside piece. Now I've gone and used a rather thick card and this card is actually a bit too thick really. Um, I should have used thinner but I was struggling to find the right colour pink and this was the one that matched. So that's what I've got. So now what you're going to do is you're going to cut, now I've used the same pattern paper as I did on the front so I used this ditzy floral. So I'm using the same again and you want to cut two pieces that are one and three quarters by five and a half. And those are going to go just there. Okay, so we're going to stick those down. Okay, so that gives you that. So now we need to put pattern pieces on all of these pieces. Now these panels, you're going to need six of them. And they measure 
three quarters of an inch wide by five and a half inches long and you want six. Okay, so we're going to go ahead now and stick these onto the concertina part. Okay, so you end up with that. So now what you're going to do is you can decide what you want to put on these concertina stepped parts. Now on the previous card, I used three of the butterfly hexagons. But on this one, I thought I'd go with letters. Um, as part of the on safari range, they do these like chipboard, well not chip, yeah, they're kind of like chipboard letters. They're not chipboard letters, but alphabet thicker stickers, they're called. And so I thought I'd use these because they have a bit of chunk to them. So I've gone ahead and cut out um, inch squares with my punch and stuck the letters on. So I'm going to have happy on one ridge, birth on another, and then day on the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those on now. So there we have the middle bit with happy birthday. As I say, they're quite chunky. There's quite a bit of wage there. So that's not going to go through the post, so that's going to be a hand posted letter. But, you know, it's a special card, so. So now what we want to do is we're going to stick, put some tape on here, and we're going to stick it inside our card. There you go, so I just lined it up so that you've got an equal border around the top, the side and the bottom. So now what we're going to do is put some tape on this bit here and then we're going to stick it to there. But I'm going to show you how to stick it down so that it ends up being the same both sides. So what you're going to do is fold your card up how it needs to be folded, like that. And then just bring your card blank over and stick it down. And open it up, peel the rest of the bits of tape off. Hopefully they won't break like mine just did. There we go. And there you have your card. Obviously we need to do the front, but that's the inside bits. Now as you can see that is a lot of wadge, so you really do need to use a thinner card. This one's about a 300 GSM. I would say really a 200 is, is probably the maximum you want to use for that. Um, and also obviously I've used these thicker stickers, so when they're together they all bunch up and add extra wadge. So this is a very wadgy card. So you can make it a lot thinner than this. But anyway, I'm going to put even more wadge on in a minute because I'm going to put the, the topper on. And the topper has foam pads on it. So there's the topper. So we're just going to go ahead, stick that on, and then we're going to add a greeting. And then that's done. Well, I've gone for a really understated happy birthday i don't know if you could see that just about maybe a bit too bright because inside you're going to be hit with happy birthday so there you go so that's concertina card very easy to make as i said do not do what i did and use very thick card
because that is a big wadge of card. But anyway, I hope you have fun with this one. Um, certainly be good for Christmas. You could have joy coming down. You could have Christmas maybe. You could do all sorts. Might have a bloody happy Christmas maybe. But yeah, you can have lots of fun with this card. And it's quite easy to do, to be honest. I mean, you saw how quick. So this has taken me just over 20 minutes to make. Um, so yeah, as long as you can sort out what papers and things you need. The rest is quite straightforward. So I hope you have a go. Please subscribe, like and tell your friends. See you later.